All right then, very, very quick explanation as to how a periscope works. And we can use the law of reflection to understand quite how it works. So first thing is we've got uh, a periscope here and you can see from the left we have a ray of light which is, being, uh, which is entering the top end of the periscope. And to understand how this ray of light is reflected through the periscope uh, into the um, eye of the observer at the bottom of the periscope, perhaps first need to just mark in some normals, which remember are set at 90 degrees to the reflective plane. And that helps us understand how the light will pass through the periscope. So incoming light here, and it goes into the periscope, and of course it is reflected from the mirror in a straight line uh, down to the bottom mirror, okay? And of course we have an angle of incidence here, which is equal to the angle of reflection here. And same detail here, we've got an angle of incidence here, and the light will be reflected at an angle to the normal, which is equal to that. So our angle of reflection is here. And apologies, I've incorrectly marked in the angle of incidence. There we go. So there's my angle of incidence, and there's my angle of reflection. Okay, and of course, because this is a ray diagram, we need to show the direction of travel of the light rays. And so that is how the light will pass through a uh, periscope um, as illustrated by a ray diagram uh, using the law of reflection, which remember states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection.